Hi and welcome to this video. Today we're uh, discussing how to implement strong authentication to your Unix Linux systems using uh, Centrify Active Directory and Certificate Services. What we have is uh, we're going to be using, uh, in this case, instead of uh, Centrify MFA, we're going to be using um, uh, PIV cards. So uh, smart cards are, are very common now with YubiKey. Things are really easy to set up. So we're going to show you how with Centrify you can actually implement this capability. Uh, for this we re require Active Directory, we require a centrified system, and uh, we require at least a YubiKey and uh, you know PKI set up for all this to happen. And uh, let's get started. The first thing, the first thing I need is um, a centrified zone. Uh, with the magic of PowerShell I can have this created, so I'm going to go ahead and, and create my zone. Right, and uh, this is going to enable uh, me to have the proper roles and rights and at least a test user that I can use. So what was created? I created this YubiKey demo zone. Uh, there's no computers on it. We have to join one. This has one user, uh, uh, Unix enabled, is Maggie Simpson. One thing about Maggie Simpson is that she has um, a smart card required for authentication, right? So she needs to have her card to log into uh, Windows systems. Um, another uh, thing that we did is we assigned the role that we created uh, to Maggie. This is a, actually a bad practice. You don't want to assign roles directly to user principles. You want to do it to groups to make things much easier uh, for administration, right? Another thing that I've done is I've created this web admin role. If you look at the properties of the web admin role, um, you know the, the password check is not checked. That means that the user is not allowed to log in with a password only through SSL, right? And notice that we're not checking out the this here because we're not, use, not using Centrify multi-factor. We're using Active Directory to do the work for us. Uh, the rest is just I'm, I'm allowing any any PAM protocol to log in, and I'm giving because it's a web administrator a couple of commands that she can run. Now we need to go to the Unix side, right? Because we need to make sure that we have uh, um, uh, a usable Unix system. In this case, basically, I have a system here that is running CentOS. It has both Centrify Direct Control and OpenSSH installed. The reason why I'm doing the Centrify OpenSSH is because it's compiled to have objects that you know understand Active Directory complexity much easier. Although with OpenSSH and stock SSH, you know you should be fine in a simple Active Directory domain. Right. Um, the next thing I need to do is actually join the domain. I'm going to just basically uh, use the um, what are the things I need to check first. I need to check communications with AD, AD info minus T allows me to see if there's communication. That means that, hey, I can, um, you know, I, I can uh, communicate correctly and resolve, uh, you know, uh, get authoritative responses for Active Directory. Now all I need to do is run AD join. I already have this. I've researched this a little bit. So uh, this is going to allow me to log join that zone. It's going to ask me for my user's uh, uh, AD password. Notice that Diana actually did the join, not Maggie, because she's actually the admin Active Directory administrator. Another thing that we need to keep in mind is that for SSL to work, you need to be able to refer to the system by name. So, uh, you know, you need to make sure that, uh, you know, you're able to resolve the name of the system. So if I do a, um, you know, if I do a ping, notice that, you know, CentOS 67 actually uh, is resolvable. If I couldn't do this after I'm joined, I could use the, um, the ADDNS command, provided that these, the, Active Directory DNS zone allows for dynamic updates for computers. I could do a user has been uh, ADDNS, and I have to sudo for that. And I can do a um, minus U for update, minus M for machine, and I can use, you know, if I wanted to do it verbose, I can. But this is going to go and, um, um, uh, you know, allow me to, to uh, do a dynamic DNS update and notice that I was able to do that. So um, now I, I am ready to do my, t my testing, right? The uh, one thing is let's verify if my user exists. So AD query user. Um, my typing is horrible today. And notice that my user is there. If I want to know if the user uh, the user's role, uh, I would do a DZ do, uh, sorry, a sudo in this case, because it's a local user, uh, DZ info minus minus role, and this will be for Maggie. And notice that this is the, the key here. So the user only has non-password login checked out. 
So uh, the rest is just running through our test. First, let's find out if a non-authorized user can log in. So let's log in as Diana. Duplicate the session here, the worth. And if I try to log in, so in this case, access denied because the user is not explicitly being granted a role in this particular machine zone, right? The next is, let's try to log in as Maggie, but with a password. So in this case, she's authorized, but here's what's going to happen. Hey, I'm going to get an access denied because Maggie, um, you know, it's not uh, allowed to log in with a password. So if I, you know, even if I try it again, you know, you're, you're not allowed to log, to log in, right? Um, uh, let's take a look at uh, logging into my Windows machine. So I have my YubiKey inserted here. If the user wants to log in through Windows, let's do it with a password first. User has to use a smart card. This is Active Directory doing all the work for us, right? Uh, let's use a smart card. So I should be able to log in. And now we're going to try to log in uh, to the machine uh, just basically using an SSO se session. So I'm going to load it. And, you know, for SSO, I'm, I'm using Kerberos SSO in my PuTTY session here. This can be done with any uh, SSO capable, um, uh, you know, um, client. So we're going to load this and we're going to try to log in. And notice that we got a successful Kerberos connection and, you know, the user was able to log in and everybody's happy, right? So the key here is that, uh, you know, we can enforce strong authentication, in this case, something that you know your password uh, by, the, by, by way of your you know, smart card pin, and then Kerberos and Centrify take care of the rest. And now only my strong uh, administrators, strongly authenticated administrators can log into my Unix Linux systems. And I hope you enjoyed this demo. This is really easy to set up. The most complex thing you're going to be setting up is your PKI infrastructure to support your smart cards or YubiKeys. I'm hoping that this demo actually helped.